So we're in Barcelona for MWC24. I'm here with Yogesh Malik, CTO at TeleT. Yogesh, thank you very much for joining us. Great to see you again. Thank you. Thank you for inviting. I think uh, it's a great Congress. Uh, this time, I really see a lot of momentum. Nothing without AI. Right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. It's really everywhere, isn't it? Um, so as the CTIO of a, of a very progressive network operator, how are you evolving Tele2's network in a way that's best going to capture the business opportunities? Because at the end of the day, that's what all this uh, work and, and effort is all about. Uh, what needs to be do done and what needs to change in the next few years to, to help you know, bring these business opportunities to the fore? And I'm, I think this is absolutely right question in my mind. And I, I always describe it's a long marathon, but there are sprints in order to get there and starting with business opportunities is the right thing. Otherwise we'll build a tech which cannot serve the business opportunity. So the way we do in Tele2, I can explain you, uh, our purpose is and our vision is to uh, enable a society with unlimited possibilities of connectivity. So for us, the architecture we think needs to be sustainable, needs to be decoupled with APIs properly and needs to have a data flow behind in a way that AI can be embedded at the right places in a responsible manner. So that is the way we are thinking. Our networks are shared with a partner, Telenor, in Sweden. And sharing networks means we can build much more deeper network, much more cost efficient network, and a clean network, which means green network. Uh, the second fundamental of our design is modernize the network completely. Yeah. Not only from the software, but from the hardware as well. And discontinue legacy and retire legacy responsibly as well. So we are going to shut down 2G and 3G. 3G used to consume a lot of power, a yeah. lot of power. So I think that will also get discontinued, which means we'll save energy and we'll have a modern network. Third one is for us fundamental of design is AI and security embed. So, which means working with our partners, having proper governance of AI, and I think these are the fundamentals we are putting in place on the first sprint. The second sprint for us, we are doing organization, uplifting of talent, upskilling, and reskilling. So I think that is the second big piece. And the third big piece is, how do we continuously make ourselves more sustainable? Right. Yeah, I know that, and that's obviously been a theme in the industry in the past couple of years. But you know, there's certain companies that are, are leading this way, and this has always been a big thing for for Tele too. Um, so you mentioned there, um, you know, switching off 3G is going to make a, a quite a big difference to your power consumption. But it, it, in what other ways are you able to reduce your or improve your energy efficiency and reduce your carbon footprint? Uh, again. This is the fundamental part of our design. Sharing networks means we share the energy also on all the sites with our partner Telnor. So in this case, we become energy efficient. Uh, and we become actually very, uh, a very good level, I would say. Top quartile, if not top 10%, top 5%. That would be my aim and belief. Uh, then you go to modernizing the hardware and software. If you remove older hardware, power consumption goes down. And if you uh, modernize with the software, you can embed AI in such a way that we can, we did a research together with uh, uh, KTH, Stockholm School of Economics, uh, and Ericsson called AI for Green, where we could embed AI at the level of the radio by which at the grassroots level we'll be able to control energy consumption, hence the carbon footprint. And then on data center, we are modernizing all the data centers, which means container-based architecture, which means a cloud strategy which is very coherent, and then we can manage the power consumption also much better. Okay, so lot, lots of different things happening all at the same time yes. and all helping to, to reduce that. And of course, there's a financial aspect uh, to Absolutely. that as well as, yes. as, well as environmental. Um, and by the way, we, we do get all the uh, renewal, uh, renewed energy. So we are powering ourselves with green energy, uh, renewable energy, and 
uh, we uh, we came out as a climate uh, leader uh, yes. in Europe, uh, number one by Financial Times. So that was great. Uh, and and for for me, the belief that we will continue on this path is very high because this is our strategy. Absolutely. Um, now, obviously, it sounds like a, a key part of enabling this is the use of uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, applications. Um, is that something that, that's happening now? Is AI playing a role in your operations right now? Or is this something you're moving towards? Yeah, as, I, as we started this, uh, AI is everywhere. <laughs> Oh, and what is AI? And here I would say that we have to be mindful when digital came in, digital is like an ocean. It's a huge, it's everywhere. But then the depth of the ocean is unknown at places like Mariana Trench. So I think uh, we have to see AI, what are we actually talking about? Customer facing AI, a lot of progress has been done. Yeah. Now network based AI, what is machine language? what is predictive on top and what is generative and where does that reside? Does that reside with the key vendors or does that reside together? So then the AI responsible AI part, governance part becomes very important and that's what we are focusing on in Tele2 as well. Okay. Um, I mean an awful lot, as you mentioned, AI is everywhere here and of course there's so many uh, of those kind of discussions about how responsibly AI can be used and what's the best approach. And of course, we need a pan-industry approach here, don't we? Yes. We need consensus. We can't have everybody going down a, a single route, otherwise uh, things will get pretty problematic down the line. Correct. Um, now, you know, IoT is something that, that's been uh, uh, around for a long time as, part, as applications, as services, as part of operator strategies. Um, this is really picking up now uh, enterprise usage of, of, of IoT. Hmm. How is that increasing use of, of IoT impacting your strategy? Uh, I, uh, we are uh, actually a very recognized leader in IoT in Europe and we have global customers as well. Uh, we have uh, actually, uh, we have seen elements beyond connectivity. Like there was, uh, we did trials on 5G uh, with autonomous uh, delivery vehicles. Uh, we have a customer called Air Forestry, where the drones are uh, shaving the trees uh, in the forest uh, using the precision of uh, the latest technologies. Um, so IoT is going to uh, stay and actually get more immersive. And for us, the architecture, as I explained, that helps us to design an architecture which is compen comp component uh, like you can almost modularize right, yeah, the architecture yeah. and I think that's the way we are heading towards IoT as well. Okay, so that the greater flexibility from the building blocks that, yes, that you can use. Correct. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Um, now another big theme here at MWC and which has really grown in the past year uh, is the exposure of network uh, APIs. Uh, does Tele2 have a, you know, a telco as a platform strategy? Is this something you're embracing? Yeah, I think we own our own IP in uh, CRM for consumer, CRM for solutions, enterprise solutions. Uh, we have simplified the backend, so we believe in a platform approach, absolutely. Uh, and the reason why we believe is that uh, we need to keep the kernel of the platform intact and then we can build on top of the platform. That separation with APIs is critical, both from definition, but also from security point of view. Without APIs properly, the security of the whole solution can also be challenged quite heavily. Okay. Uh, so I think that that is where we are thinking. Uh, the work needs to be done both on the regional level, on the country level, and of course GSMA is doing a lot of work as well. Uh, so this would be the next era of connectivity where ecosystem connectivity becomes a part through those APIs while the kernel of the uh, center, the core, becomes really, really a uh, strategy of our operator. And for Tele2, we want to own our IP. There. Right, okay. So it sounds like early days for the strategy. You're thinking about how this might evolve. I mean, it is 
this is something that's only just emerging now and starting to become yes. a reality. So I, I think what, what we are seeing, APIs towards our retail, our web, our other channels, those are more progressed. Yeah. APIs towards customer care, more progressed. And now network APIs, and that work is starting. Okay, excellent. Well, uh, Yogesh, it's great to have you uh, on our spotlight on 5G programming. Good to talk to you. Great to hear how Tele2 is progressing and uh, look forward to catching up again in the near future. Thanks very much. Thank you.